Could you give me your name, your number, and state the purpose of your business here today? Yeah, it's PC Price, Charlie Pump 816, and my uh, purpose of my visit here is to uh, interview you um, about alleged offence. Okay, great, thank you. Um, I'm willing to grant you access to this private land upon acceptance of the following. One, that upon your oath you do swear that you will not attempt to make an arrest upon my body here today. That's correct. Thank you. Upon your oath that you do agree that because you're entering private land, everything will be recorded on video. Yep. Thank you. No problem. And upon your oath you will agree that at all times I will maintain my whole body of God-given natural and valuable rights. Right. I've no understanding of what that means, but I'm not going to, I can't, I'm not going to arrest you or anything else. Okay, so. I can explain that. On acceptance of those terms, I'll grant you access to the land. Lovely. Lovely, thank you. Right, you, you okay, I'll have to go through a spill to start with. Okay. Okay. Um, before I start this interview, I must inform you you have certain rights. Okay? You have the right to obtain legal advice and have a solicitor present during your interview at your own expense. Or speak to someone on the telephone. Do you wish to obtain this legal advice? What I would say in response to that is at this moment I hold all my God-given natural and inalienable rights intact and will exercise them if I deem necessary to do so. Okay, that's the longest reply I've ever had to that statement. So, uh, um, are you willing to be interviewed now without a sister present? The answer is I'm not willing to be interviewed. Can I ask you? Yeah. At this time, presumably, yeah. you have to establish identity. Uh, I'll ask you questions about that, yeah, about yeah, okay. a certain questions. So I would say you're not you're not obliged to answer any of my questions, you know. If you if you deem that you don't want to give a comment on a certain question, just say no comment and I'll move on to the next question. Okay. Alright, but if you want to give me an answer, you can do. So there's no pressure to answer me. So with respect. Why are you writing my comments down yeah. if you haven't established my identity? That, that I'll come on to. Okay. Okay. Because I, at the moment I'm saying that I'm happy that I'm interviewing Raymond Sinclair. Okay. Now, whether you disagree or agree with that, that's, that's obviously... Well, well, who is Raymond Sinclair? That's who I believe I'm speaking to now. No. Okay. We'll, we'll come to that. All right. okay. I'll ask you questions about that. Okay, I must caution you now that you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something should relate to a line in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? The word understand is synonymous with stand under, and I do not stand under, stand under that comment or right. that statement. So yeah, I, are you happy for me to write, I do not stand under that statement? I do not. I do not stand under that statement, yes. Okay, uh, you've been cautioned. I would like to make it clear that you are not under arrest. Okay. Well, I'll stop you there. You say that I have been cautioned. Yeah. What I'd like to do is correct you there. You believe that you have cautioned this person called yeah. Raymond Sinclair. Yeah. I am not that person. Okay. So therefore, I have not been cautioned. Okay. Um, I'll have to read out what it says anyway because okay. it's a pro forma. Uh, you've been cautioned, uh, but I would like to make it clear you are not under arrest. Okay, and you can ask me to leave at any any time. Okay. Do you understand? That? Yes, absolutely. Well, actually, let me amend that if I may. Okay. You asked me if I understand. Yeah. I don't stand under that statement, so the answer is no. Okay. I apologise. No, I do not stand under that statement. Yes. Okay. Are you Raymond Sinclair? No. My name is Raymond, as commonly called. I am of the family St. Clair. I'm a freeman on the land. Right. Okay. Um, the person that you seek is a legal fiction, represented by this piece of paper. Right. Okay. And I'm, I do not represent that legal personality. To confirm that it's a legal personality, if you look yeah. at your document here, yeah. the corporate world always puts corporate names in capital letters. Okay. You will see also, <coughs> excuse me, yeah. that on a birth certificate, which is basically the formation of a contract between two parties. Right. All the surnames, as you can see, are in capital letters. Yeah. This is corporate governance. Yes. This contract was created at a time when I was not in a position to object. Right. And it was created against my wishes. Therefore, the contract doesn't stand. Because I seek not to represent that legal personality, yeah. it is a legal fiction. Okay. Anything that you write down here is merely directed at that legal fiction, okay. which is a piece of stationery. There's a good word, it's called, the reason it's called stationery is because if I do nothing with it, can it move? No. no. So therefore, I am not the person you seek. Do you, do you understand what the difference is between a person and a human being, legally speaking? At the final point in law, 
No. Then, but, uh, sorry. Yeah, I'm. Um, I take you, you're referring to um, legal contract. This is a legal contract. You are a corporate officer. Right. Do you believe that? I'm a, I'm a police officer. No, you're a police constable. Yeah. But you are also a corporate officer. Okay. Do you work for a company? No. Yes, you do. Would you like me to give you the evidence of that? Well, we, we, we could go, yeah, we'll, we will go into that if yeah. I'm, but I, you know, as far as I was concerned, I'm sworn, by, I'm sworn to the Queen. And, and you're, uh, you're a sworn constable, yeah. but the documentation that you're completing is corporate paperwork. Mm. Yeah, it's legal, it's legal paperwork. In order for you to effect documents that refer to me as a freeman and a human being, those documents have to be governed by Her Majesty with whom I've invested my sovereignty. Right. Okay. We're going to have to condense that answer. Okay. Um, I've asked you, are you Raymond Sinclair? You said no, okay. I'm... You need, all you need to put is, I do not... Yeah. ...represent... ...the legal fiction... whom you call Mr. Raymond St. Clair. Okay. You, you might want to add to that. Yeah. The legal fiction whom you seek by this piece of paper and only by this piece of paper. Referring to, can I put referring to birth certificate? You may put yeah. birth certificate. In the name of Raymond Sinclair. In the name of Raymond Sinclair. And if you wish you can take the certificate number down. Thanks. I'm more than happy to give you a copy if you require. That's fine, thanks. I've never, I've never needed a seat one yet or have a coffee one, so, uh, but uh, interesting, okay. thanks for that. You will also notice, and I'll bring it to your attention, yeah. it says here, a certificate is not evidence of identity. Yeah. What this proves is that this means nothing. This is merely the formation of a contract, and what I'd like you to add here, if you would, yeah. is this piece of paper, Yeah. It's the sole basis sorry. of any. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Of any alleged contract. that may or may not exist yeah. between the legal fiction known as Mr. Raymond St. Clair So represented by the aforementioned piece of paper.
Yeah. And the company. United Kingdom. Corporation. Limited. So registered. At company's house. And at Dunn and Bradstreet. D U N. D U N. And Bradstreet, yes. Bradstreet, one word. Yes. The human being Raymond Connor Commonly called Connor of the family. Saint Clair, comma, free man, on the land. Head one, head one done. Yeah, comma, Siri, I spell that S U I, Juris, G J U R I S, comma. Does not now, nor ever has, or ever has, or ever has represented the legal fiction Mr. Raymond St. Clair. And therefore, no contract exists. Excellent. I'll have a sip of tea. I think we'll carry on. I'll write this crap. Do you understand what it is that you've written there? Yeah. Um, Effectively, but, what I'm saying to you is that. You can ask this piece of paper questions all you like, but because I do not represent this piece of paper, I lawfully yeah. represent, and there is a difference between legal and lawful, mm -hmm. because I lawfully do not represent this under common law. M me as a human being, yeah. I, have no, I have no responsibility to this piece of paper or to the questions that you're going to seek from this piece of paper. Okay. So you're now conducting, what, I, what I've given you here is, the, the lawful reasons why you're now conducting this interview with this piece of paper. Okay. Gotcha. No problems. I'm going to ask you another question now, or maybe the piece of paper, okay. I'm not sure yet. Um, okay. Did you visit the Swan Public House at Fiddleworth on the 9th um, of April 2009? As the human being, Raymond, Raymond as commonly called, of the family Sinclair, I'm unable to answer that question or represent an answer to that question on behalf of that legal fiction you seek. Okay, so I, if I write, I'm unable to answer that question. How do I write it? Go on. I, as Raymond, yeah. go on, as commonly called, I am unable to answer that question because I do not resent, represent The legal fiction
to whom? You have directed the question. So if you want to make a reference number against that paragraph yeah. and say something like first answer, you might then just want to put C first answer. Yeah. Because that is effectively what I am going to have to tell you in response to every question you ask me from this point forward. Okay, no problems at all. Because I can't answer for this legal person here, this legal representative, this legal right. function. And you're and you're happy if I put C first answer, you're happy to agree that that was the first answer. If you give that after each question, then I can yes. we can sign it off and I'll I'll say is I refer you to my previous answer. That's great. Yeah, that'd be better because I would just write that out. Um, okay. Um, As they do in court, I refer my learned colleague <laughs> to the answer I gave previously. But I don't want to be that pretentious. <laughs> Who did you go there with? I refer you to the answer I gave you previously. At that time, did you drive a Range Rover showing the index of? I refer you to the answer. Okay. Oh, I think I've run out of questions to ask. <laughs> um, okay. The only thing left for me to say, which I'll write down as well, and uh, I'll explain while I do it. It's not my decision where this goes, okay? It's, it's basically put to a case director. He'll review the evidence uh, and then make a decision based on the, on the evidence in the file. But what I do have to do is report you for the offence, okay? It's um, because obviously you're not under arrest. If we were to summon you in the future, you'd have to have been previously reported before so. Okay. Okay, so I'm now reporting you for making off without payment. And now I have to uh, caution you again, but it's called the now caution. So, okay. you so are you cautioning me I'm as a human being, or are you cautioning this, this person? I'm cautioning Because I'm, I'm not a person. Okay, yeah. that's obviously a sem not a semantic, but it's, it's, it's yeah, it's some of the, obviously you put a huge... Um, Understanding. Or oh, disagreeing with, with the current statute law with, because of all your research into this. And I can understand that, but I've just got to, as you're standing in front of me, I have to caution you, okay? okay. As, long, as long as you don't use the word you in reference to me, okay. I'm quite comfortable with that. Well, I have to say the words, okay? I understand that. You do not have to say anything, but it may have an offence if you do not mention now, some of the two in court, and you do say, maybe give me evidence, all right? So that's, so... Do you, not, do, you have, do you not have to ask me if I understand that? Do you understand? No, I do okay. not stand under that comment. Right, okay, I'll add to that. I'll write out what I've just said, and then I will say, do you understand? You say, no, I do not stand as that comment. Well, I will add something onto that. No problem at all. All right. Okay, so I've cautioned you on here. You now ask the question, do you understand? My response is no. I do not stand under that statement. Marvellous. Yeah, I thought you were going to leave me on some pages then. And okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that concludes the interview. Okay. So uh, that's all done. Right. Um, I wonder where my first page went. I thought so, so fundamentally, what I'm saying there is that in the conducting of your questions, yeah. you haven't been addressing me. Yeah. And you've been addressing this piece of paper. Yeah. And because this piece of paper cannot speak, and because I've inferred that you're addressing me, yeah. I've basically explained to you that I cannot answer for this piece of paper. Okay. And therefore, the statements I gave you at the outset confirm that this piece of paper, this legal fiction, and me, Sudurus, a yeah. flesh and blood human being, are not the same entity under law. Right. Be interesting, won't it? I'm sure everything needs a test, doesn't it? Now, what I'd now offer you is a chance to read through an initial and sign the comments given uh, by you, if I can use the word you. Uh, you can refuse to do so. Um, it's up to you, so I'll give you that chance now. 
I am unable to read through the documents because they don't belong to me. They belong to this person here. Okay. Um, everything that's been done today has been recorded for the record. Yeah. Um, so obviously that's that's a record of what's gone on here today. Yeah. So I, I, as Raymond Commonly Court, have no reason nor desire to read the statement of the legal personality that you seek. Okay. No problems at all. So what I'll do, I'll just go and initial my entries. Of course. And I won't put refuse to sign, but decline to sign. Okay, on the end? No, well, I'll give you a statement about why I can't sign. Well, I, I can't. Now the interview's finished and concluded, um, and now I've well, given the chance to I'll, sign the document. I'll, I'll give you a, a statement that I'll take. Yeah, yeah, that's no problem at all. But I'll, write, I'll have to write that on the form because they'll ask me for why wasn't it signed. So. Okay, if you have to write it on the form, as long as it's written, I don't mind. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, obviously, you can say whatever for the benefit of your tape, right? Okay. You might need to amend that when you put declined. Okay. Um, you might need to put. Yeah, I can't you think you need to put the legal, the legal person declined to sign. So I've been calm as the legal person. Well, actually it's not, that's not part of what you're saying. It's, it's my, it's my um, it's your application of that on there to say that I've offered, as I believe, Raymond Sinclair the opportunity to sign okay. and I've put declined to sign. Uh, whether, whether the reasons for that... You declined to sign, yeah. as far as I can <laughs> <see>. <laughs> The reasons for that obviously you can, you know, you yes. can, you can say. But, uh, there you go. That basically concludes the interview. All right. Okay. Painless, okay. wasn't it? Yeah. Well, not for me because I have rushed. No, no, you, you must have left on. <laughs> um, I have a couple of questions that I'd like to ask. Sure. You yeah. No problem. To, uh, yeah. Take a couple of those. Um, 